let's see the shimmy the shimmy which will look like this and when you are really fluent with it you can push the hips left and right you can circle the hips while keep doing the shimmy you may even walk with the shimmy it's not necessary for you to have a good boost here without any drastic movements this is enough maximum you can top it up with further stretches while still doing the shimmy and this you can do perhaps when you ironing or cooking or watching tele this is possible okay let's see how we do this keep the feet parallel under the hips so don't open too wide and don't keep it closed feet should not touch each other when you do this but to, to be elegant it should not be wider than hip width the distance okay and then one thing you need to keep in mind that the starting position is this it's as if you were sitting in the air yeah so this is when i'm straight and with the knees and i'm sitting i unlock the knees and this gives me more freedom to move my hips just underneath the belly button nothing will move from waist up okay and the other interesting thing about this is that the movement is done by the knee it's not by the hips as you would think so let's start with the four uh, stages once starting position then you extend one leg then the hip goes up on that side and then you come back starting position then we do the same on the other side and the hip goes up and we go back to starting position so this will be one straight two starting position three other leg straight four starting position keep repeating and feeling and when you are fluent with this then we will skip the starting position as a separate stage but we will just do the alternate straightening the legs in a fluent way that they will always go back one by one to the starting position but we are not going to stay there with two knees only one at a time so do it first sort of slow this is slow <laughs> and you speed up slowly feel how you can speed it up eventually when you feel fluent with that try to find the speed but actually the buttocks will just take over and you don't need to do too much because the flesh if you have any of course will make its own job good so keep practicing because this needs some practice and needs some strength for the thighs good luck